Welcome. What I like to do is kind of discuss to you what is the difference between a regular and irregular polygon. And this is very, very important, especially when we start dealing with you know, some of the formulas that we're going to be dealing with as far as you know, the measure of the angles, the area um, of a figure, and so forth. A lot of them require that my po our polygon is going to be regular rather than irregular. So it's going to become very important to make sure that when we're applying a formula that we have a regular polygon. So um, Basically, a regular polygon is a polygon that has equal measure for all of its sides as well as equal measure for all of its angles, interior, and if the interiors, then obviously the exterior. Where a irregular polygon um, can still have the same number of sides, but all the measures do not have to be the same, uh, nor or will their interior or the measures of the sides or the angles. So let's just kind of look at a common one that you should be very familiar with. This is what we call an equilateral triangle, where equilateral triangle, all three sides are exactly the same, as well as then all three of my angles are going to be exactly the same. And hopefully you should know that if all three angles are equal to the same here for this triangle, these are all going to be 60, 60, 60. All the interior of all the um, angles in a triangle add up to 180, so you can see this works. However, an example of an irregular triangle a good example would be a, a right triangle, which are very important. We love right triangles. However, in terms of irregularity and being regular, a right triangle is not a regular triangle because we obviously know that the hypotenuse is obviously the largest side of this right triangle. And if you have one angle that's right, the other two angles cannot, um, cannot also be right because then you'd have the sum of all the interior measures would be greater than 180. So whenever. This would be an example of an um, irregular triangle. Now let's just go and look at one more example. I'll try to do my best here. And I'm not very good. There you go. So here's my best representation of a regular hexagon. And I am just going to show that, hey, the hexagon, all the sides are exactly the same. Then guess what? If all the sides are exactly the same, then all the angles are exactly the same. And that works out for um, the exact same, the converse of that. If all my angles are the same of a polygon, then all the side lengths are also going to be same. However, an example of an irregular one, it can be convex or it can be concave. It doesn't really matter. I can do one that would be like, so that would be an example of a, um, a concave polygon, but it's not regular. You can obviously see that these two sides are much longer than these other sides. And I could also just make up an irregular or a concave one. So that'd be an example of a convex where um, all the sides are not the same. I'll just pretend they look like that or something. Um, but then again, these are examples of irregular and regular. And again, to summarize, regular, uh, regular polygons have exactly the, the measure of the sides are exactly the same, as well as the measure of the angles are exactly the same. So if you have one, you're going to have the other. Whereas as far as an irregular polygon, do not have equal measures of lengths and or, side, or, and or angles. Thanks.